Hey everybody, question of the week from Weekend Confirmed. I'm Garnet Lee and it's almost the end of the year. We got big games, lots of stuff coming up on Weekend Confirmed. That is if you can get past the controversy. I know everybody loves the controversy. But we ain't gonna talk about controversy right now. We're gonna talk about what Ryan Archer 95 asked, which is, do you think the experience of the game is more important than the mechanics of the game? And if that's the case, do people even need to play games to enjoy them or could they just watch a YouTube Let's Play? Ryan Archer, do not let them win. You watch the YouTube Let's Play, you have not played the game, man. You, like you, you're breaking my heart. Which is funny that I would say that, right? Because all y'all are thinking, oh, I know Garnet. Garnet's always about the experience. He's just about the experience. He don't care about the mechanics. Well, yeah, I totally care about the mechanics. The problem is that a lot of times mechanics let the experience down. Now, let's take a game that a lot of people liked called Catherine. Now, Catherine was cool because of the story. Catherine was cool because of all the things that came together about, like, the personalities, this whole, like, weird inside the dude's psychology and dealing with the girlfriend and all that cool stuff, except then it was a puzzle game that was a real pain in the ass to play. So, yeah, I've taken a real disassociative look at it there because, obviously, what you're really talking about is games like Metal Gear Solid or the Halos, right? Where you're like, do I play the game? Or do I watch the game? Now Halo 4 has done something interesting to me. One of the things I noticed right off the bat is that they have included a lot more cutscenes than I recall Bungie doing. Now to my memory, and I have not gone back and played those games, the last one I played was Reach, right? I felt like you were playing the game and having a lot of the storytelling moments happening within the game. And that's cool. It did also apply some limitations on how much storytelling you can do, right? I mean, it's the whole difference between having a movie and a set stage and improv and then all into gameplay, right? Because if you're in gameplay, I can fool around. It's the age old thing they've talked about at GDC talks and stuff about like, you know, if I'm doing a cutscene and having characters doing dialogue, the last thing I want is some dude to be able to like come over and bunny hop right in front of him and make fun of it because you'd like, you'd lose all the impact of it, right? I and mean, you can't have this meaningful discourse between two characters while some dude's trying to teabag the NPC. It doesn't make any sense. It just destroys the whole thing. But you still have to play the game. I mean, look, if you just want to watch the movie, I don't, I don't begrudge you that. I mean, I get the idea. It's like maybe there's some games that you just really didn't want to play. I think, though, that you should start differentiating there because you said, can you have the experience? And the experience of the game? That's the whole thing, man. The experience of the game is all the pieces put together. The experience of the game is that first 15 minutes when you fire it up and you're learning how to play and you're getting into it. The experience of the game is going through that middle section where it's maybe even a little bit too long. You're like, man, I'm getting to the end. And the experience of the game is playing through to the end and having that big climax. Ain't nothing like a big climax, baby. That's what we know and we can confirm. You should be able to be watching Shack News Daily because Ryan is holding down the floor very well. I, I don't know. I mean, I may come back. I may not. It's a, it's a, it's a mystery. It's a secret. Who knows what's going to happen? But you get to see my smiling mug right here. You get to listen to us every Friday and we can confirm. Till next week, we are out. The first thing that I thought of when I saw this question was Liara Origins. Liara is probably my favorite secondary character in the Mass Series aside from Femship, of course, the star. But we all know that Shepard is not going to be in the next Mass Series.